Hello there, this is Richie Spirit Scott and presenting Proteus Deluxe Pack and this is by Konami and it's on the Sega Saturn with the Sega Saturn dashboard flying through space at 20 miles per hour um, this is Sega's logo quality uh, this is Konami's logo uh, dubious and this is the tile screen um, this pack con contains uh, the original Proteus and Proteus Fantastic Journey and for some reason on the title screen the first game is the second game in the series it's almost like they don't want you to play the original they want you to play the sequel uh, for reasons best known to themselves don't know, Konami, we choice but anyway, this is uh, some sort of cartoon slideshow commemorating the original Proteus and uh, there's some sort of story around something going on here don't know what, it's in Japanese lovely and we've got a bit of an animated intro there which is kind of cool the soundtrack for this game is is freaking amazing well both the Proteus games to be honest it's um it's also classical tunes and uh just CD quality audio. Uh, you can't argue with that. I've picked Mambo here, the uh, giant sunfish stroke space fish who fires bong, bubbles at his enemies. There's a constellation there of a single octopus. octopus. Um, it's a 2D scrolling shooter map, and I've already reviewed reviewed this on the SNES. And um, to be fair. Uh, this doesn't look much different to the SNES version. Um, it's, it's more impressive, obviously, and uh, smoother in some ways. And uh, the SNES version hasn't got all the weapons that this this uh, arcade version has got. But uh, the arcade machine, or this conversion from the arcade, is a great game. Um, it's a 2D shim up with lots of just neat stuff in it and uh, penguins and you can't ask for more than that in a shim up Mambo here has got access to some uh, wacky old weapons quite like his uh, twisted uh, twisty he's got, he's got a twisty and a, la and a straight laser and a twisty laser and bubbles and uh, he's shooting um, grabby hands with the Konami logo on it I can't say further than that. And uh, this dude was a boss in the uh, first Proteus, and now he's just a guy that spits bells at you when you kill him. And a mightier fall. Yeah, the uh, SNES version is good. Uh, the arcade version is is also good, and uh, ramps everything up a little bit more. But you know. That's to be expected. And the sound version, I guess, is identical. I don't have the arcade version at hand to check that, but I can't imagine that it wouldn't be. Uh, the Proteus Deluxe Pack is not an expensive game, um, or it hasn't been uh, for the Saturn or the PlayStation. Um, I, indeed, I bought my copy for about 25 quid back in the day. I think it can be had to this day for around £35. So, what you get for that is two excellent shoot mobs featuring a panda uh, in a tutu and uh, a duck hat and um, another game where um, a giant lady walks across the screen in a uh, sparkly outfit. And if that doesn't float your boat, then nothing will. Yeah, this is quality. Um, quality, quality game. Oh, I just got a um, chicken up the ass. That's no good, is it? I do like the Proteus games. Um, I like it. I like them for their imagination and their wackiness. Um, the second level is uh, is awesome in this game. I do love the second level. Um, I like the, I even like the fast level in this. 
So in the Gregor's games, uh, the later Gregor's games, there was always a level where um, it sped up the background and it was like a maze. And um, they don't have really have a maze on this one, but they do speed the game up. Uh, and it's, it's fun. It's fun in this game, whereas in Gradius it's just a, a massive pain in the ass. Specifically, I'm thinking about Gradius 3 here. Um, yeah, but in this it's cool. Um, the pig's quite a good character in this game as well. I do like the pig. He can fire in multiple directions at once. But it, you can see what's going on here. It's, it's Gradius. You pick up the. Um, Pick up the pods, it scrolls through your weapon set, you get to a weapon you want to pick, and you press the weapon button, and now you can fire the new weapon. You avoid getting hit by the bullets, you pick bells up for different colours, the bells give you different weapons, uh, including uh, the blue one here, which gives you a smart one, the green one, which makes you bigger, the grey one, which gives you a loudspeaker, the gold ones just give you points, and there's a cat with a pair of swimming uh, goggles on. Um, or a diving mask. Uh, and what are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what you're going to do about it. You're going to do nothing about it apart from love it. Um, there's little mini cats. Oh, they're so cute. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've seen the SNES video, and I might do a comparison uh, between the SNES and the arcade machine, you'll see that the SNES one is actually pretty damn close. It's obviously not as nice, but um, hey. Um, what else have got going on this? You've got the roulette, so if you pick up if you pick up a power-up icon, sometimes it will just go through I don't know, like a, a trumpety noise, and then um, your power-up bar goes haywire, and you have to stop it at the right place, otherwise you lose all your weapons, which is annoying. Um, what else have we got going on? We've got a simultaneous two-player option. Uh, it's slow down, but not too much. Um, yeah, we've got a level which appears, if you're doing really well, um, you get um, like an R-type style level where you have to destroy a massive spaceship. With a face on the front of it. Um, but only if you're doing quite well. Uh, that'll just appear randomly before before a stage. And that's fine. Some cute paws there that cat's got. Um, yeah. I think this game's also got an option to use the full width of the sound on the screen, because at the moment it's uh, square, isn't it? It's um, not 4x3, it's like 1x1, uh, one one, isn't it? Or 4x4, four four, whatever you want to call it, or 3x3, three three, whatever the number is, however they do it, um, it's equal in both axes. And, uh, on this hand, you can extend the ends of the screen out a bit further, um, which is fine. So there we go. That's um, that's fantastic journey. Uh, it is a quality game. There is no doubt about it. Got an expanded roster of characters over the first Prodius. So the first Prodius gave you a choice of four. That gives you uh, I don't know how many. Is it six or eight? Got the carrot. The rocket riding carrot girl. You have got the paper, the man riding the paper airplane. There's two. You have got a pig. There's three. You got member of the fish. That's four. You got the spaceship. That's five. Uh, oh, octopus, twin bee, and penguin. So that's eight. You got at least eight characters to choose from. Uh, did I cover them all? Don't know. Player two disc gets a different, different version of uh, some of these characters. So. Uh, Player two gets the um, spaceship from Salamander, the second player spaceship, which is like a red cockpit version, which is, is kind of cool. Um, and this is Parodius. Again, this was converted to the Super Nintendo. This also came out on the PC Engine, and uh, they're both pretty good versions from what I understand, although I've not played the PC Engine version. The SNES version is pretty damn tasty. Um, and this is the uh, Saturn version of the arcade machine. So I imagine this is identical to the arcade machine. I have played the arcade machine way back in the day. I'm talking when it first came out. Uh, once or twice there was a little tiny arcade along the seafront. Had a very few cabs in it. Had e-swap. 
Hyperodius. Um, Street Smart, mm, which wasn't particularly good. And Zane, Zane de Slina. Uh, what else did I have? That was about it. There's like four or five decent cabs in there. So he used to stop off and play Proteus every now and again. Um, they may have had Dynamite Ducks. Uh, that let the side down slightly. But we've picked the Octopus here and we're playing Proteus, so let's talk about that. You've got the same bell powers, you've got the same kind of power ups, you've got angrier penguins, you have got killer whales. Um, you've still got cat boats and you've still got the roulette thing. You can turn the roulette thing off in the options um, if it's causing you annoyance. Uh, it is specifically designed to rob you of all of your weapons because you usually get it at points where you can't really concentrate on what you're doing. Uh, so you have to kind of press the button in blind luck whilst half looking at the uh, um, power bar. Because if you don't press in time, I believe it just takes all your weapons away from you anyway. But if you are looking, you can kind of pick a weapon that you want. Um, which is groovy, I suppose. Adds a little bit of variety to the game. Uh, some people find it incredibly annoying. Indeed, I did for years, but I've kind of mellowed on that at the moment. Don't mind it so much. Uh, just go with the general vibe of the wackiness of the game. Uh, slightly uh, smaller cat boat than uh, the sequel. Okay. This game's got. Um, well, both games actually got great bosses. Uh, uh, there's a uh, pissed off penguin at the end of this one. There's a, uh, a problem belly button, and uh, well, you're not going to see him. And you shoot him in his problem belly button, and he doesn't like it much. Here he comes. Take that, yeah, fool. And the boss at the end of the second level is a Uncle Sam style chicken, which is groovy. Um, and it's a parody of. Uh, the flaming phoenix thing in Bulk Adventure. So that's that's cool. And I like the ice cream, uh, not the ice cream, the icing sugar dispenser in uh, Fantastic Journey. Um, his creepy little fingers squeezing those tubes. Um, yeah, there's some pretty pretty cool stuff in here. There's a uh, uh, sumo wrestler boss who unwraps his arse uh, thing and then tries to whip you with it. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like your sumo pants are made out of like a thick arse thing, aren't they? It's like a thick ass thing that they stick up their crack. Yeah, he tries to whip you with that. And that is quite nasty. Well, all right, so I should have died there. I went halfway into the scenery. But never mind. Uh, I'm not complaining. I've got a little laser. And I'm shooting some clowns in the face. So you can't say far on that. Uh, this is recommended. This disc is highly recommended for shoot up fans. And um, it's more recommended than the SNES version disc because... Oh, I hit the uh, wrong button there. Or the wrong power up. The SNES versions are incredibly expensive. Uh, the original Parodius on the SNES. Um, cheapest you'll find that. Uh, for the Japanese for Super Famicom. It's going to be about 60 quid without the box. On a box copy, you're talking 90 quid. Fantastic Journey, uh, that's another 70 quid at least. Um, on the PC Engine, the original Proteus is 40 to 50 quid. So this disc, uh, coming in at around 40 quid, represents pretty good 40 to 50 quid, depending on the condition. Uh, Perhaps that's pretty good value. You get two classic games on a disc. Um, and they're both groovy, so you can't argue with that. Uh, Konami made several compilations on the Saturn. There's a MSX compilation which I've never played, which is apparently very good. Um, but you've got Twinbee, you've got the Twinbee Deluxe Pack, uh, which is okay. It doesn't feature Pop and Twinby, uh, like some people say it does. It features, um, I think, the second arcade game. It doesn't feature the original. 
and it features uh, a much later arcade game, uh, which has much more impressive graphics, but some annoying gameplay quirks. I don't recommend the tweet to be Deluxe Pack, but we'll do a review of that. Um, just because the games are pretty annoying. Uh, but I recommend this, and I recommend the Gradius Deluxe Pack, without reservation. And also the Salamander Deluxe Pack, so uh, can I just make some nice compilations there. And um, yeah, I suggest you go and get them. But with this not being so super expensive either, that's, that's quite cool. Uh, you can get this on the PAL PlayStation. I remember playing this in um, Virgin Megastore. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a PAL PlayStation version of this. I imagine it's uh, really expensive. Did it come out in the PAL Saturn as well? He might have done. He might have been able to get Parodius uh, on the PAL machines. Uh, I imagine they're very expensive games these days. They're probably a lot rarer than the Japanese ones. Having said it's come out in the PAL version, and not been too sure, I'd be surprised if it didn't come out in America too. So you could probably get this in other territories to be fair. Um, but I'm playing the Japanese version here on the Japanese Saturn, so there you have it. I imagine the PAL versions are butchered slightly with the black borders. Um, I'm using my imagination there. Because that's what happened back in the day, wasn't it? There were lazy mothers that just didn't want to use all of the TV on the old uh, PAL, PAL versions because it took uh, you know, 20 minutes of extra effort to um, program it to display all of the lines. I don't know. I don't know what. It could have, it could have been a very highly technical and difficult process. I've got no freaking idea. Um, there we go. Oh, I'm going to hit the wrong thing again. I've managed to ruin my power-ups twice now. You can see how the roulette thing uh, is a bit of a double-edged sword there. Sometimes it helps you, sometimes it doesn't. And it's not helped me twice now. Because um, you have to, like I say, you usually get one when you really are trying to concentrate on something else. And it will um, give you one of those annoying power-ups. You to deal with. I believe uh, there's a semi-naked semi lady behind this uh, multicoloured uh, nonsense we've got here. Or maybe there's a Venus look. It's a Venus look. Yes. Anyway, classic tunes on this game. Classic tunes. And who doesn't want to play a uh, green fish spewing octopus at every opportunity in the game? It is the only character to be, in my opinion. We've got uh, penguins there that have cruelly had their legs hacked off. And they've been um, cybernetically enhanced to become gun turrets. It's a cruel, cruel end for a majestic animal. All penguins in the future will be uh, cyborg penguins and they will all hate all other forms of life. Uh, this is a weak boss. Level 3 boss in this game is a weak boss. Yeah, that's right. It's eight pairs of lips. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what you do. You're going to try and shoot them. And uh, this really shouldn't be a hard boss. See how far I get. Oh, I've been noshed. Noshed by teeth. That is unfortunate. Ooh, it starts me right next to the boss. That's very convenient for me. It appears to be a. Uh, I don't know what that is in the background. It's like a dude? It's not a penguin, is it? Don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. He's got six arms though. He's got mates that have, uh, haven't got six arms, so I'm not sure. Yeah, these lips are not. It's not a good boss. It's never been, never been a good-looking boss. 
Uh, it's never been a particularly hard boss. I don't, I don't know how I died the first time, to be fair. Um, lack of uh, concentration. But here's, this is the level with the old uh, CMO guys on it. They kind of try and whip you with their pants. That's lovely stuff. Yeah, they don't really make games like this anymore. Um, Konami, they uh, don't really make games of any type anymore, do they? Apart from, uh, I don't know, Pachinko games, maybe? I don't know. Do they make? Do they release games anymore, Konami? Don't know. But the uh, 90s were the heyday. The 80s and the 90s was the heyday of that company. And um, you get a fair bit of their software on the old Sega Saturn. But you also get a fair bit of their software on the old PlayStation. So, um, can't go wrong with Konami back in the uh, 80s and 90s, I don't think. Here's a, here's a little pig man throwing his gusset at you. Horrible, horrible, horrible pig man. Uh, but the boss does is very. Uh, is another CMO wrestler. Don't think he throws his pants at you though. He just tries to stomp on you. Anyway, Parodius. Um, deluxe pack on the Sega Saturn, worth getting. Uh, I recommend this game. I uh, recommend you go and get a copy, but don't pay ridiculous amounts of money for it. So, uh, okay, I shall see you next time. To roll. Blank, 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 blank.